Maca's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here and welcome to another exciting video. Today we're going to be talking about the Xbox controller of all things. And this actually has a little bit of a secret and hidden feature that Xbox hasn't really said too much about. And in fact, I think it is so useful that I wanted to make a dedicated video about this feature. Now this will only currently work on the newest generation of controllers. You can tell if you have the newest controller by whether or not it has a capture button in the middle. You may have gotten one with your Xbox Series X or S, or maybe you picked up the Shock Blue or Pulse Red controller recently, but this doesn't work with the Elite V2 or any of the older generation controllers. Now, some of you may already know about this, but this actually took me by complete surprise. I don't really think many people know about it, and I kind of pride myself in like knowing all the cool things and shortcuts that the Xbox can do, and I had literally no idea this was possible. Now, obviously, you know, I hope you know, that you can connect your controller to your Xbox and use it as a controller for your Xbox, duh. Now, I think most people also know that you can use the Bluetooth functionality to pair this with other devices, like maybe your cell phone for Project xCloud, or maybe you wanna pair it with your laptop or your PC to use it for games on Steam or for Xbox Game Pass for PC. That should be pretty obvious. I have actually used this controller for all three of those scenarios, but most recently I've used it on my Xbox and on my PC. And the hidden feature is actually this sync button can be used to instantly and seamlessly switch from your Xbox to your PC and keep the same controller without having to resync it. So if we switch to my Xbox, you'll see that I'm connected to my Xbox. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to hold the sync button right here until the controller starts blinking, and then I'm going to release it. This controller was most recently hooked up to my PC. And now if we switch to my Xbox, it doesn't do anything. And the reason is because I did a fast hot swap to my PC. I'm actually going to switch to my PC, and you're gonna be able to see that this controller with no cuts is now synced to a instance of golf with your friends on my PC. And now what I can do is I can press this sync button twice very quickly, one, two, and it will instantly switch back to my Xbox. Pretty cool, right? And really quick, again, if we wanna switch from the Xbox to the last device we were connected to, hold down this button until it blinks, let it go, let it solidly blink and you will be instantly connected to the last device you used and then double tap to instantly connect back to your Xbox console. All of this happens within about a second or two. You can switch back and forth as much as you want. Now, I think this feature is insanely cool. I'm not really sure why Xbox hasn't talked about it. Maybe they're worried that people will be upset that the Elite V2 is missing a feature that one of the newer controllers has. Maybe they're just not ready to talk about it. Maybe we're waiting on an announcement for iOS cloud streaming services. Who knows? Either way, I really do hope this is a useful video. Spread the word. Thank you so much for watching. A super special thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. And hopefully, I see you soon. Peace.